I'm Emily Fagan. And I'm Hannah Breckbill, and we're co-owners of Humble Hands Harvest. Our collaboration as a worker-owned cooperative is a very real example of the way that two people can do something that neither one of them could do on their own. We started in 2017 on bare land, thanks to visionary neighbors who helped make it happen. And now we raise organic vegetables, grass-fed lamb, and pastured pork for our local community. And we've planted hundreds of fruit and nut trees in the four years that we've been on these 22 acres. I got into farming because it feels so real, so foundational to humanity. Everyone needs to eat, and our food comes from farmers' work, along with land and the seasons. I got a college degree in math, but ultimately I couldn't think of anything more meaningful to do than to root down in a community, grow food, and tend the land. I love to farm because it is more than just a job, it's a way of living life. I get to use my body as well as my mind, and the work connects me and the people I feed to the earth. I also appreciate the way there is room for creativity and science. It feels balanced and impactful in the way the work influences so many lives beyond my own. Our mission as Humble Hands Harvest is to grow food to celebrate this place, to create a foundation that the next farmers here can build mm -hmm. on. We've even built a structure we call the commons into our business to ensure that the gifts we're given will continue to be gifts for the next generation of farmers here. We're so grateful to have access to this beautiful spot to spend our days, but when it comes down to it, we wouldn't be farming if it weren't for the people who eat our food. We love bringing people into connection with the seasons through the food that's coming out of the field. Our community supported agriculture members receive a box every week full of whatever's best from the field. We're feeding 50 families with our CSA this year, and the rest of our income comes from Farmer's Market and Decora. If there's one thing I know for sure about the future, it's that we're going to need food. And Iowa is one of the best places to grow food. So our work and this farm is dedicated to making sure there's food in the future of this place. That's why we're planting so many trees. We're so dedicated to this vision for the future that we're willing to put in too many hours, invest all the money we have, and live in provisional dwellings to make it work. We won't be able to live this way forever, but we want to be doing this work for the rest of our lives. We need to build some ease into this lifestyle so that it can feel sustainable for us and feel possible for more people. So we need help building a house. Not just a house for the two of us to live in, but a house that will make this farm a good place to work and live for future farmers here too. Because our ultimate goal with this farm is to create something useful and beautiful that serves our community and that we can give freely to the next generation of people who will steward it as a commons. Starting a farm isn't easy, especially starting from scratch on bare land, building skills as we go. But I'm really glad to be starting a farm now to create something that the next generation can take and run with. If we build something good, a viable business, rich soil, a beautiful house, a vibrant community, then the next generation has a launching pad from which they can use their creativity and energy. But right now, we're making our own launching pad. We're so grateful for the people in this place who have given so much to help us build it. We need farmers in the future, and we need lots of us. So many new farmers are going to need to be launched, and we're really happy to be an example. If it was possible for the two of us to get started with the help of our community, then it can be possible for so many more. All I know is it takes a village. The farmers can't be the only ones investing in the future of their communities and soil. We're so grateful for every bit of help we can get, financial or otherwise, and we're committed to doing well by it. You can see our fundraising progress, learn more about the commons, and give a gift at humblehandsharvest.com slash building the future.